You get it? So based upon my Haitian sister-in-law, who is still a Nassau County Correctional, Correctional Officer, when she tried to kill my niece, Brittany Marsh, her daughter, my father's granddaughter, and my brother's daughter, when her and my father were the only one in that house at 54 Surrey Lane, I was at work at Macy's, my brother had his job at the medical center, working with psych patients, she decided for my father to do the thanking for him that he tried to kill Brittany. That's how women are when they're hoggish and selfish. And when they got a man by himself and catch him off guard after he came downstairs in his house with the deed on his name and noticed my niece crawling up a staircase at three years old who never was taught how to walk just yet, which is abnormal. Kiki Huguette Jean-Pierre Haitian, voodoo or not, decided my father tried to kill her. That's how much power women want when they want to be ahead of a man, mentally, emotionally, and want to psych him out of their of property or and hold him hostage and make him feel guilty when you don't have to. Putting a, a ton of weight on your back. My father's a prestigious NYPD detective, and she Girl, to show you, decided for him that he tried to kill Brittany Morris in a very controversial, argumentative, and debatable case. Who's responsible for that girl's safety, you understand, and welfare? And that's how women like to leave it in mystery, like Deidre upstairs. By the time security shows up, you don't know who did what. But they want to thank for me that I violated somehow the HIPAA policy when the Jamaican woman at Woodhall decided I don't need my eyesight anymore, basically, when I'm by myself and alone. And it's, if women can have an ongoing contagious campaign is we don't like the way that, you know, and they need me to hit them and do something physical to justify a Haldol injection because of the guilt. And they keep trying to dump the liability issue on the next John after them that comes along. Just because they don't want to, they don't want to look me in the face, women, without jerking their eyes around or looking up in the left or whatever the case is, trying to access a rebuttal to some, something I'm, that something, due to something I'm saying to them that demonstrates rejection or rebellion or disagreement of how they're the ones responsible for making the decisions for me after years of abuse unaddressed that I lack the mental capacity to make a decision for myself is how they want to get out of it now. These are women who have vaginal cavities and ovaries. And that's what happened when Kiki Jean-Pierre, you got Jean-Pierre, made the decision for my NYPD father, who's well-established in law enforcement, that he tried to kill Brittany Mars, perhaps, when they only do this when we are by ourselves, where there's no witnesses around. But thank God my father is a cop and basically stick to the, you know, my little infant niece to the medical center where Kiki worked, where she knows all the goddamn doctors and nurses of Nassau County. You understand it? And that's when my father brought in Detective Ralphie Valdez afterwards as a vouching, but Ralphie's job was to kind of discredit me on that end now of the spectrum to give my father anxiety and concern that these women keep trying to hurt me and hurt him. For him, me and him loving each other is what all we got. That's what it boils down to when you're jealous. And anytime you got a father who builds your own driveway, they love each other. It's not an act. Nobody goes that far. You understand it? And that's because Kiki Jean-Pierre, you get, 
is what this is all about. You understand it? 